Okay guys, we're getting ready to make weaning ration again. And it's me by myself. Uh, I'm not going to film the weaning ration. Uh, I made the film last year. I've already put the oats in. Uh, the soybean splits. There was no wheat because the wheat mids had vomitoxin in them. Uh, so I don't want to put that in the calves ration. Uh, we have the alfalfa hay I'm about ready to grind. But I want to show you guys my secret ingredient to weaning calves. And so what we have here, it's about 25 degrees and you can see it's not frozen at all. So this is, when I stir it there, I don't know if you can catch those brown tints, but the green is on top. And anyway, when we cook our sorghum molasses, this is sorghum scum. And so when you're cooking this sorghum, a green foam arises and you need to remove that uh, from your sorghum syrup. And so anyway, you scum it off. And uh, it's a little bit of uh, syrup in it and then there's the green foam that's rising and then there's some solids down in the bottom of the bucket. So I'll stir it up here real good. And then the tricky thing, while the grinder is mixing, I have to crawl up on top of the grinder there and uh, pour it into that top hatch while the grinder uh, is mixing real slowly and so it doesn't just stick to the sides. Boy, that stuff is sticky. Uh, it's very, very sticky. And so you have to pour it in uh, when the feed is mixing. But uh, it gives off a smell that the calves just love and it helps them get on to feed very quick. Uh, they love the smell. Uh, if you could d describe the smell, obviously there's some sweetness from the sorghum in it and uh you know it was two months ago when we cooked the sorghum and so there's been a little bit of fermentation that has gone on uh and the green stuff the the skimmings from the top of the sorghum you know vat when we're cooking the sorghum they have kind of a oh uh bittery kind of nasty kind of uh bad tobacco flavor to them but anyway, it's something uh, that puts a smell into the feed that the calves love and they cannot resist it and it really helps them get on feed. And so I had that five gallon bucket full and so every time I grind, I put about a third of that bucket of that sorghum byproduct on the feed. And it just makes the little calves love the feed. So that's what we got going on today. We eat calves here a couple weeks ago and we're giving them a consistent diet and uniformly and getting them on feed so they stay healthy thanks guys